Yo, welcome to Millennium Scrum Rescue 2. Today, we're going to be going over a Decidueye deck. I played this deck the other day in a tournament, and it did pretty well. Uh, this list was taken largely from Kquim, who played it in the Limitless Invitational. We made a change to the deck, uh, or a couple changes to the deck, I think. But as a whole, uh, credit goes to Kquim for the actual deck. Uh, we're going to go over it and kind of why I think Decidueye is in a pretty good spot right now. It's kind of on people's radars after one weekend, but it takes a lot of really good matchups. So, of course, Decidueye has that deep forest camo ability, cannot be damaged by V or GX Pokemon. That includes VMAX. A lot of decks really don't have answers to Decidueye. And, of course, VMAX decks could play Phoebe, but they don't. So Decidueye is in a generally good spot. A uh, few decks that can really handle it. Single prize deck like a Spiritomb or Rapid Strike Malamar. Essentially an auto loss. If ADP opts to play Echoing Horn, that is also a very bad matchup, although most of them don't. Uh, you've seen, what's it called? The Mewtwo Dark Box deck. They're not well equipped to handle Decidueye. They can attack with the Silvalli technically, but they're probably not going to. Well, they, they will, but it's not going to go very well. Some of them can take a Guzzlord, which I think is not a worthwhile tech, because we can counter the Guzzlord as well. So not too many decks can really handle Desi that well, because we have teched the Decidueye deck for all of these other decks. Here's a list where it currently stands. Now, like I said, this list was taken from Kquim. I think that he found one of the more optimal ways to play it without Inteleon. With Inteleon, it might be better. We saw the Inteleon version beat a lot of the straight Desi versions, but I think that's just because in the mirror match, the Inteleon is very good because you get the extra snipe damage to fix some of your math. So the general deck, very, very straightforward. Two Snorlax, you really want to Gormandize, turn one, turn two. You know, you want to set up. For the most part, you don't have to set up very fast. Against a lot of decks, you can set up by turn three or four and still win the game. We're in a 4 2 4 Decidueye line. Quick note the 60 HP Rowlet is 100% the one you have to go with. Used to be, oh, you can play some Bird Keepers and play this Rowlet to fix some math. That no longer works because Astral Barrage on Shadow Rider V does 50 damage. I don't think I own one. Does 50 damage to two benched Pokemon. There it is. Choose two of your opponent's Pokemon and put five damage counters on them. That means it gets through Mew as well because it's damage counters, not 50 damage. So because of that, we have to play the 60 HP Rowlet. That is ridiculously important. Like I said, 424, one of Mew, you got to play around stuff like Rapid Strike hitting you on the bench. You know, the Mew is just incredibly important. You want to protect your little birds and a Fione. The Fione is here for the Luke Metal matchup so that we never deck out and we will deck them out instead. Without the Fione, Luke Metal, your best case scenario is tying them, but you're probably going to deck out. It's also not a terrible card, but preventing yourself from ever decking out is a huge deal. That's our Pokemon line. Nothing super innovative in the Pokemon line. Let's go and look at the trainer line. One Evo Incense, a couple level balls. Why do we have the split? Because of Rosa. Sometimes you might have to go... Or sometimes it might be optimal to grab an Evo Incense as your item because you want to grab two Pokemon. Maybe you have a Dartrix and a Rare Candy. Maybe you have a Dartrix on the field, a Rowlet on the field. You already have a Rare Candy in hand. You can go Decidueye plus Evo Incense off of your Rosa, and then you get out two Decidueyes. So playing the one of is nice because you have the Rosa in here. Level Ball is good because it can search out your Rowlet. It can also search out your Dartrix. You will evolve into Dartrix a fair amount. One of the reasons I like this one over the Inteleon version is the Inteleon version can find the candies quickly, but I like being able to get out our Dartrix. It does feel pretty darn good. Another reason I like this over the Inteleon version is it's straightforward. It doesn't have these Pokemon that can get picked off very easily. Two ordinary rods, completely necessary. You will be using your raw, at least one rod per game. One Pokemon communication, same thing. Get it off of Rosa. It's also nice against ADP to play around Mawile. So we have the option there. Go, they, you know, they take that first knockout on like your Snorlax. They ultimate ray it and go Rosa. You can potentially grab a PCOM to shove something back in the deck if you need it. Or you can sit on a hand that's got a PCOM in it and shove it back in the deck so they can't maw while you. Four quick ball, find our pokes. 
quick ball over level ball because of the Snorlax, Gormandai being one of the strongest abilities in the game. Well, for a setup deck like this, one scoop up net, same thing with Rosa. You can go grab it, but you really don't need to use scoop up net much because we just don't play many Pokemon. Fiona gets itself off the field whenever you need it. You want your Decidueyes on the field. You're probably not going to scoop them up too often. Scoop up net the Snorlax, but for the most part, you're fine setting up behind a Snorlax. There are very few matchups where you need to get the Snorlax out of there and you need to start hitting. So really just the Mew and the Snorlax eventually, maybe, are the only things you need to scoop up net. And it's also nice get extra prizes off the board. So you could potentially pick up that Snorlax, bench another Rowlet and say, all right, if you're going to boss something, you have to do it now. Otherwise, I'm going to evolve this Rowlet into another Desi. So you can kind of play that prize manipulation game. That's a very big deal when you're playing this deck. Kind of count yourself and say, how many prizes am I giving my opponent for free? We want to make them go through as many Decidueyes as possible. Consistently, we can get up two or three. Sometimes you can get up four. It's hard, both because of prizes and just because of the speed of a lot of decks. But you want to force them to go through, hopefully, three Decidueyes. So you don't want to give them more than three other prizes. And the Scoop Up Net lets that happen. Three Tag Calls. Tag Call is a very strong card to search out our supporter line. Cynthia, Caitlin, Guzmahala, and Malo Lana. We'll get to them. Turf Field, so we can grab our evolutions. Two Boss, we do want to go aggressive in some matchups. The Urshifu and Teleon matchup, for example, is very, very difficult. We want to take out those sharpshooting and Teleons, the one that put two damage counters, because they can also attack us, and they can really screw up a lot of the math. So sometimes you want to go boss some stuff up, you want to get hits on it, you want to start damaging them, so you can take them out before they take you out. Our support line, Tag Call is incredibly powerful because Cynthia Caitlin just gets back Malolanas, get back Rosa, get back Boss, get back whatever, but also it's just a searchable with Tag Call draw card. Goose Hala, Goose Hala gets our tools, which are very valuable text for certain matchups we'll talk about in a second. And Malolana, a lot of decks hit you for not enough damage. I mentioned earlier the Dark Box, for example, if they take a Guzzlord, cool. They hit us for 120, we go Malolana, hit them. What are they going to do? Hit us for 120 again? Well, then we knock them out and we win the game. So Malolana is very good because a lot of decks can't hit 140. They hit less than 140. Now, we did add a third Malolana for the mirror match, which I'm not sure if you need to tech for the mirror match still. When we played it, we definitely had to tech for the mirror match. And oh, yeah, shout out to Gamer for working on the list with me. We played the same 60. I forgot to mention that. Uh, but the third Malolana is nice because, like I said, most decks can't really hit you that hard. Shadow Rider, for example, they could play the Cresselia. The Cresselia doesn't hit hard. The Cresselia hits, I believe it's 120. So again, you can go Malolana, your Desi, hit them. They hit you for not enough. Cool. Knock them out. If they only have one Cresselia, you're good to go. Like, you could survive those hits. The Malolanas let you really counter most of the counters because most people aren't countering super hard. Two research, I'm drawing cards. Good. Four Rosa, stuff's going to get knocked out. This lets you just go get Decidueye plus Candy plus Energy. Rosa is one of the most powerful cards in the deck. If you're playing against Decidueye, sometimes the answer is to not take a knockout so you don't activate their Rosa. Rosa also, in the later game, lets you go grab tools, scoop up net, a supporter for next turn, you know, whatever you need to do. Now the tools. The tools are one of the innovative parts of this deck. Play Stealthy Hood and Big Parasol. Big Parasol, as long as Pokemon is, as long as it's attached to the Pokemon in the active spot, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's active Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon. This is how we beat Shadow Rider. You'll see it. I'm going to have a game included on this, which is from my Twitch channel where I played the deck. Big Parasol stops attacks like Dark Moon GX from Dark Mewtwo. It stops things like Pale Moon GX from Trevnor in Shadow Rider, those don't do damage. Those just say your opponent's active is knocked out. Put a big parasol on it, they can GX you for the full effect, it doesn't knock you out. That's pretty darn good. So if you put a big parasol with a single Decidueye against Shadow Rider and they don't play a Cresselia, they literally can't win the game. Also stops Astral Barrage. Astral Barrage, like I said, puts damage counters. Decidueye prevents damage. So if you have two Decidueyes, with big parasols on them against, uh, what's it called, Shadow Rider, 
they can't use Astro Barrage to put ping damage on you. Now, of course, we play three Malolana, so even if they get around that, they play a Tool Scrapper, something like that. They go 5-5, five, five, you hit them for 90. They go 5-5, five, five, you go Malolana hit. You know, you can heal. You can really stop them. Yeah, maybe they take out one or two Desis, but it shouldn't really matter that much. But Big Parasol stops Astro Barrage, Dark Moon GX, Pale Moon GX. I'm trying to think if there's another attack it stops. There probably is, but those are the big ones that we really care about. One of Stealthy Hood. The Stealthy Hood is in here for Inteleon with that sharp shooting ability. It says put two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon or one of your opponent's Pokemon. Shove a Stealthy Hood on one of your Pokemon. You're good to go. That Pokemon does not take the sharp shooting damage. This is good against decks that struggle to attack with that Inteleon. So like Rapid Strike Urshifu, they can just put a Rapid Strike Energy on the Inteleon and hit. So it's still a very tough matchup, but like Ice Rider, Ice Rider has to manually attach to it, so the Stealthy Hood can slow them down quite a bit, because they can't do that residual damage now, they can hit you for 70, you can Malolan it off, hit them, so the Stealthy Hood is good for those matchups. One Aromatic Energy, it's not really here for any special conditions, though you can stop like a Crobat and Eternatus from poisoning you or something like that. But you can also search out with Guzma Hala, and that's the big deal there. So it gets the extra nice effect of like Eternatus can't crowbat you to poison you, which slowly damages you because again, poison isn't damage, poison is a status effect. So the aromatic energy is good for that, but mostly searchable grass energy with Goose Hala, because between the tag call and the Goose Hala, we have five outs to that aromatic energy, four captures. Capture energy is really one of the most powerful cards in the game. It's just such a cool card, such a good card. Just find a basic Pokemon, put it on your bench. Really good turn one. Attach to your active Rowlet, capture out a Snorlax, retreat, Gormandize. You're good to go. So we essentially have eight <laughs> quick balls in the deck with those capture energies. Or you can go grab more Rowlets, you can go grab a Mew, you can go grab whatever it is you need to grab. And three grass energies. Uh, the grass energies are here, so we can ordinary rod them back. They can take knockouts. So we say, ah, whatever. Ordinary rod, put them back in. Basic energies are also nice because Shadow Rider can technically slow us down if we only played special energies. They could, in theory, win the game with a single Shadow Rider spamming that first attack. So ordinary rod, because we play the basic energies, it lets us recycle them in single prize matchups. And it gives us an out to Shadow Rider's first attack that I don't remember its name. So again, we're going to check out some games that I played with the deck on Twitch. Uh, these pre-recorded, all that good stuff. So I'll be talking to Twitch chat, things like that. But I think they're good games to kind of showcase just how powerful the deck is, especially in an open deck list situation where you kind of know what's up. It also does a good job of showing just how you kind of set up, how you game plan with the deck, and you're like, all right, in a couple turns, I'm going to need this, and once I have this set up, I win the game. So hopefully you enjoy it. Like I said, Desi's in a pretty good spot right now. It's not in a ridiculously good spot. People are still kind of teching for it, but you can counter a lot of the techs. Like I said, the third Malolana feels like a good way to do that because some people are like, haha, there's a Guzzlord, haha, here's this, and you're just like, all right, cool, Malolana heal it off and you're good to go so let's go ahead and check out those games from twitch they have no gain queue they cannot donk us like if my opponent had put in like two chrysalias well, to be fair, they can still beat us. Like I said, if they Marnie plus Night Watch us and we just dead draw, then we lose. Okay, we have 404, we prized a Candy, we prized zero Rosa, that's pretty good. Um, we're going to go and shove that on the bench. Okay, we got our Parasol. 
We still want a parasol yet. How many boss do they play? Three boss? Okay. There's a day day. They got over Reese. Oh, I guess that's actually attacking with that's not a good play. <laughs> okay. The good news is they can't knock out the active, so we still just get to Gorman die. So that's just one less Marnie they have access to. Ooh, squad up. That's fine. Ten and nine news tell me I'm moving backwards. Eight blacks left. Death is around the corner. They can power that up. So if they go Marnie Nightwatch, we could lose the game. Uh-oh. How many day days? They have one day day left. Or the hand was gas. Ooh. There's a second day day. That's three Marnies down, though. Oh. Uh, this is a yikes. Oh, this is less of a yikes. Okay. They're down three Marnies, right? Yeah. I think just going double Dartrix is correct. This is currently five prizes. I kind of want to keep these around. Yeah, we're going to see a Night Watch. They have the fourth Marnie is the biggest question, though. Because they'd have to Night Watch away two... They'd have to specifically Night Watch away Rosa and Peacock. Well, let's see if they hit it. All right. So we got Rosa, so we can go... One Desi should be game. Desi, parasol, energy. Five prizes. Hmm. Okay. I was debating. I'm like 90% sure there's nothing they can do against a single decidui with a parasol. But that's where I was like, I'm not sure if I'm missing something. I assume I go first. Hmm. We'll see what we quick ball away. Okay.
Got our Malolana. Solid energy. Huh. They play three Marnies? I think we just have to squad up. Well... Yeah, we don't have to get the Mew yet. We can get the Mew later. Because they can't actually snipe me this turn. No Marnie, we have Lay Newts. They play two stadiums, two Tower of Waters. Okay. How many one crowbat? Zero Dedenes. Okay. They have one dig Pokemon. Okay, they're just not going for the Urshi. So we might not even have to Oh, never mind. They're thinning. Yeah, that's my car. No, my hand was literal newts. How unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> this is cool, too. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Okay, Mon. Onyx. Not getting down Mew could lose us this game. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. But they have two VMAXs left. Because they got rid of one early. Oh no, well they have it in hand. Okay. Yeah. Flareon. They don't play Scrapper, right? I don't miss that. Okay. Oh, my star. They just need so much. They only play a couple switches. Okay. War Tortle, Mewtwo, Tentacruel, Aerodactyl, Almond Knight, Low Oak. That's all, folks. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Gotta catch him all. Okay, man. There's the drizzle. Leave in the night, have no fear that they might hurt me. They have one air balloon, two switches, no escape rope. Yeah, okay, good. Diamond Flash. Oh, bro, do they have switch boss? Oh, they probably do, huh? Marnie, that's... Uh, it's not great, but it's fine. Close your eyes and imagine. Seen through East Saint Laurent glasses.
och så är det. Then your fat friend, her nickname is Minivan. Yeah, this is game one. I might be playing it too slow. Diamonds are forever. Okay, there's the sniper. That's fine. They have one Marnie left. Okay. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, this is fine. What's in here? A boss? Like you bulimic. Yeah, the beat cold, but the flow is anemic. We messed up. It might have been too aggressive, but they only have a couple rapid strike energies left. Amen. Diamonds are forever. This one did tech? No, this is just a generic list. It just, they also technically have teched for us. That's annoying. Oh, bro, and they got it? Chill. Okay. The extra Desi's is very nice. Do I want to draw cards? Yeah, I do. It's worth getting rid of a boss. It's fine. Because we want... I think we're going to lose. We're actually not in a good spot at all. I might have gone too aggressive. Oh, they only have one boss left, actually. Not getting an energy there hurts, though. If we'd gotten an energy there, we would have been, like, very fine. Because then we could have threatened the knockout on this and we would have literally just won the game. Okay, that's fine. Okay, energy, good. Net, good. Tag call, good. Yeah, we're in a good spot. Back a boss.
They still have Tower of Waters, so that doesn't play. Like... Yes. I didn't check for aromatic being prized. <laughs> this could get bad. They can't really afford to retreat because that'd be they'd have one rapid strike energy left. Uh, they can afford to retreat, I guess. They're out of hand disruption. That's fine. Okay, we did prize aromatic. three grass in deck gotta find one of them hopefully <laughs> uh, i think we're gonna lose and we still never research this hand though Held the research. I think we lose if we. I don't know, man. That's our last rapid strike energy. Well, this has two, and it's a double colorless. Ooh. They just boss KO it. Oh, we lose. Yeah, we just lose. This seems like a bad matchup, man. Yeah. I mean, there's the turn I didn't Rosa, and I probably should have Rosa that turn. Yeah, they're just gonna... Yeah, we lose. They have boss in hand. There you are. Little too late. Do I go first or second, chat? I think I go first. It's a good hand. Oh, Malamar, did you beat the Blissey? How unfortunate.
Ooh, we prize two. Chill. Hood's really important. Energy's really nice. They were a no-show? What? I want a no-show. That feels really bad, but I think it's fine. We have a couple left plus rods. I think we grip the hood. It's not worth the extra card. Epo Newts. Dang. <laughs> I was hoping they only play three Marnies. But they've been very consistently getting it. The problem is we can capture here. But if we capture, we also just kind of show them that <laughs> we don't have any more things, right? Get up here, coward. Mapu. Mapu. Okay. So we get a second Desi up. Desi, Turfield, Grass. And we could always go level ball PCOM, actually. And we don't have to Turfield. We can. We don't have to rod, though, because we want to save our rods. Scream in your name. And you were my baby. I think this is better. We can go get double Desi. Ah. Yo, plus Ultra Man. Thank you for the follow. This is one of my like first favorite albums ever. It's okay. Hey, I was using that, you jerk. My oh, my oh. My oh, my, my oh. Do I ever want a Fiona and KO this? My boo. I don't think so. It's the only way we know how to rock. Ooh, that's an Inteleon gone. Okay, we can win this game. I should speed up, for sure. Hmm. 
Do we have our boss KO Mew? Or just KO this? KO this seems like fine. I mean, boss KO Sobble seems good too. Colors of the world. Every boy and every girl. We can just KO it next turn though. Yeah, this is fine. We just KO the Drizzle. And that just gets rid of more of their resources. Shake it to the right. Or they're going to Marnie me, right? They know I have... I assume they remember I have boss in hand. Yeah. I mean, plus they're not drawing very well. Looking good? Bro, we have not won this game, chat room. We have definitely not won this game in any way, shape, or form. And even if we win this game, we have to win the next game, too. We're down 0-1 right now. Spice up your life. Uh... Ooh, we got the boss. Okay, so we can go chase their energy. Bro, where's my Rowlets? <laughs> I want more than two Desis. I don't care if they bossed it. That means they bossed it. Uh... That's fine. Okay. 